Hello guys, welcome uh, to my channel. Today we'll see how to use ArcGIS Pro uh, raster function analysis in, to perform uh, change detection, which is binary change detection. So here I have uh, added my raster layers. I have two raster layers that shows a mangrove area extends for 20, 2010 and mangrove uh, forest extend for 2020. So we are going to use this raster function tool to perform the change detection. So here, as you can see, this yellow color shows that mangrove coverage of 2010 and uh, this uh, blue color shows mangrove extent of 2020. So as you can see, you can check the uh, swipe tool to check uh, the change happened between these two uh, years. So we are going to see uh, the extent of this uh, mangrove ex uh, forest whether it is decreased increased or remains unchanged uh, between these two years so in this tutorial uh, we will perform a raster analysis or uh, binary change detection to compare the mangrove extent between 2010 and 2020 for this specific area uh, to see how the extent of the mangrove forest has changed over uh, this specific time so just observing the change in the mangrove forest displayed on the map may help identify where uh, this tree species is expanding and uh, where it is being lost. So the result of this analysis or this change detection analysis can help uh, forest conservation managers or any concerning body to better understand how forests are impacted by natural or man-made activities. So first you need to prepare your raster layer that uh, shows the mangrove extent of the two years here i have already extracted the mangrove uh, forest for the two year so then we will use the series of raster function uh, tool to compare the two extents uh, of the mangrove forests to see uh, where they have increased decreased or remained unchanged so just open your uh, raster function analysis tool just to go to this uh, analysis tab and you can get the raster uh, function uh, tool then uh, in this uh, raster function tool just click this one and uh, select this create a new template then a uh, new raster function analysis window will open here so here we are going to use uh, a series of raster function tools to perform the change detection so uh, first thing is just dragging and dropping the uh, data just drag and drop uh, the raster layers to this window so i have added the two uh, images to my raster function so if you check the my attribute of uh, my data so it, ha it has only one classes with one class value which shows the mangrove forests uh, only so i have a, a value of raster value or pixel value of one for each two years so next is uh, we are going to uh, convert this uh, mangrove pixels to zeros in the ones so both rasters which is uh, raster uh, layer of 2010 and 2020 are linked to isnl function in raster function tool and this isnl function reads the input raster and it determines the area that have been classified as mangrove and those that are classified as no data value so next we are going to add uh, isnl function to assign uh, the pixels to one and the zeros so just drag and drop the function here. Then link these two. So here we are going to assign mangrove forests as one and then mangrove forests or uh, no data values as zero from the uh, raster uh, attributes. So if you check the property of this isnl function, it is takes the mangrove forest extent, which is I have already converted from the vector layer to raster layer. So the output, the input will be the uh, 
mangro forest 2010 for the first uh, input in the second one also it takes uh, mangro forest of 2020 which is this one so here we are we are going to uh, use this seasonal function in order to determine the areas that have been classified as mangrove and those are not classified or which is classified as no data value then we are going to use a constant value here this constant value will be zero this is to assign uh, none mangrove or no data value values to zero value then next we will use the conditional raster function tool from this uh, window search for con or conditional and uh, drag and drop this uh, conditional tool to your uh, raster function window so this uh, conditional raster function tool converts the areas of no data value to have a value of zero so we are going to do the binary change detection first we have pixel value of one which shows the mangrove forest area in the pixel value of zero which is non mangrove uh, forest uh, coverage so so just link this one Again, this one you have to rearrange your uh, tools so so here I have uh, connected my uh, tools so the first one is is null function to assign uh, pixel value of one for mangrove forests and uh, this constant value you know, to assign uh, zero value for non mangrove for pixel value so if you check the property of this conditional raster it takes the input from the isnl function and the true raster will be the zero one to assign a zero value for the non mangrove uh, forests so there uh, the false raster will be the for the first one for uh, the first one it is uh, 2020 uh, 2010 mangrove forest and for the second one similarly we have our input will be the isnl function for the second raster and uh, the true raster will be zero and the false raster will be the mangrove extent of 2020 so here we have we did the conversion from the uh, raster to the zeros in the one pixels so at this point uh, there are still two rasters but now they are uh, a binary raster where the mangrove areas have assigned a value of one and the non mangrove areas have assigned a value of zero so the conditional raster tool will help us to assign this value next we will use the compute uh, change uh, tool from this raster function tool so just search for change uh, compute change So this is it, let's just drag and drop it here, compute change raster. Compute change uh, raster function subtracts the 2020 raster from the 2010 raster. So just connect this one. So if you check the property of this change, uh, compute change raster. So from the first one and uh, it takes the two rasters and they will use the difference or the subtraction of the two rasters in order to perform the change detection so uh, because the mangrove areas are in the non mangrove areas are have been uh, converted to zeros in the ones the output reveals that areas that have seen an increase in uh, mangrove coverage as a value of one and uh, that have uh, seen as a negative or decrease in forest coverage as a value of negative one and the areas that have not changed as a value of zero so here we have the final output of this change raster will be the negative one one in the zero and the one shows the increase in mangrove forest and the negative one shows decrease in mangrove forest and the zero will be the mangrove area that has not been changed 
so finally you have to save your uh, this raster function template just click this save one and uh, you can select the category and uh, give the name i'm re renaming it as this one and then click ok and uh, give some description you can say it whatever you want then you have saved your raster function template it appears here in the custom one i have uh, saved a subcategory of av and uh, it is named as change uh, template so just uh, click it once and uh, you can check uh, you can create a new raster in order to run this uh, change detection uh, analysis so just click this uh, create a new layer so change is applied successfully and the new uh, raster is added to the map and it depicts that as you can see uh, it depicts this area in purple or this purple color lump that saw an increase in uh, mangrove forest coverage with pixel value of one the purple one shows that the increase in mangrove forest and uh, it shows area in green one or this green uh, color lump that lost the mangrove forest so this uh, green pixel shows the area where uh, mangrove is decreased or lost in mangrove in the uh, the area in white color so no change between these two years or between uh, 2010 and 2020 so you can observe your change just by taking this uh, so you can display the background value just select the change layer and I come to this uh, mask and uh, check this display background value to check the background value so as you can see we have negative one zero in the uh, positive one zero shows that the area where is no change and the positive one shows the area that has increased the mangrove and the negative one is mangrove forest rose so for example if you check around this area uh, the green one uh, shows that there is lose in uh, mangrove forest so previously it was in 2010 it was uh, mangrove forest but in 2020 it is uh, not there already uh, the mangrove is lost so in the change raster it shows that a negative value or uh, a green color uh, pixel value so you can see that around this there is a loss in mangrove area also here also this mangrove is completely lost from the change map and uh, here we have increase in mangrove for this pixel so uh, this is all about my tutorial so in this tutorial we have uh, performed uh, a raster analysis to detect change for the mangrove extent between 2010 and 2020 for this specific area so the result can help uh, the conservation manager or any uh, concerned body to better understand the uh, how forest is in the natural environment is impacted by natural in the uh, man-made or built up uh, environment so this is all about my tutorial and uh, see you in the next